Hello YouTube, um, and I am here with a gun guide. Yes, gun guide, finally. Like, I know I promised I would try to do daily uploads, but something's gone away and it's a bit tricky too. And I apologize that I broke that promise. But hopefully, from now on, I can do at least an upload every, like, two day or three day, just for two weeks. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um,. But yeah, that's something gonna change now. Um, cause I'm gonna be a little more open. Um, but yes, the gun guide. And now this weapon is of a different category than what it used to be. Like assault rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, shotguns, sniper rifles, Markson rifles, the basics. This is gonna be going back to like the beginning of the period of gunpowder <laughs> and because we all know flint locks and muzzle loaders mm -hmm. and with me today I do have a muzzle loader now this is more of a moderate one more of a like modern for hunting um this my friends ladies and gentlemen is the Optima 3 70. It's probably by far, it's a very high powered weapon overall, um, of course, for all muzzle loaders. But this one, in just in depth, um, is, of course, says right here, Amicate. It. Real tree. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, it just took me a second to, like, Mmm, the brand. It's a Realtree Optima 370. Um, and it uses a Konas, um, 6 scope. It's very effective. It's a 50 caliber, um, musket ball for the muzzle loader. Um, and this can reach a good to 370 to 400 yards, as I believe from the reading. I have the proof as well. If you want to leave a comment below and ask, are you serious? <laughs> so just if in that case. But yeah, it's yep. This is the whole entire design. I mean, it's not much of a longer barrel as from other muzzle loaders, but it's still good range. It has a built-in thumb grip, just for better handling. Um, of course, that's how it works. The lock, pow. And put the stick of gunpowder in. Um, but yeah, overall it's a very good gun. Um, now just to go, like I said, in depth about the gun, is muzzle muzzleloaders are very sensitive in some ways, like on a rainy day, or when it's snowing out. I mean, if someone gets in this barrel, or in the, or in the muzzle of the gun, right there of course, um, it, some serious things can happen if you try to shoot it. Could explode on you, which is really bad. You end up dying probably, which is. <laughs> um, but yeah, it sucks. So it's always best, like on a sunny day, <laughs> um, to go hunting with a muzzle loader. That's why in PA it's very strict about that. Pennsylvania, um, is very strict about muzzle loading season. They do it on the Pacific times of like when it's more warm out. Uh, it's like more dry weather, so your muzzle loaders won't get affected by it. Now, another thing about it is, every time you shoot the gun, of course you gotta clean it. Because it's very important to do that. Now, people are like, but that's no fun. <laughs> but it sort of has to be like that, because you don't want the gun, like the remaining gunpowder to get built up within the barrel. And it gets really grimy and dirty, so when you have to clean it, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's really pain in the butt. Um, but yes, 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 yes. I was going to remind myself to say this, but I can believe I forgot until now. Um, my brightness levels are sort of bad, but don't worry, I'll touch it up. I'll touch it up. Um, but yeah, because it's night, it's night time, and it's sort of hard for lights to work at night time. It's supposed to cause brightness, but my camera quality sucks. Ethiopian penis. <laughs> um, but yes, 
this is a very effective gun, as I was saying about the whole entire loading process. It's hard, but that one shot can cause so much damage to what's ever in front of it, or distance away, of course. Um, because he has so much variety of the type of musket round you want to use. I mean, it's just so much. I'm being legit about this. There is many. And I got... <laughs> Here we go. This is the variety of rounds. This is a little... little brick about it. Yeah, it's probably, if I count it correctly... Uh, eh, 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 uh, 21 each. So, 42, I do that, um, 42 different varieties of rounds, 42 <laughs> hollow point, um, hollow point, then there is the dexterity, then there is the flat, then aluminum, iron, I can't, I can't it's so hard to name them all off from the fact that it froze out of my head, because there's just so many. <laughs> So many. It, ah. <laughs> it's not like the musket ball anymore, it's not like the uh, round shape. It's more like so. Like. Like a regular caliber bullet. But the bottom of it is more curvy and flat. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's the whole entire thing. Yeah. It's like in this little plastic shelling, so. Of course, you get the. Brine steak. I can find the brine steak. I can brine steak. <laughs> poker, poker. Um, you just gotta fish from rod right here. Yep. Rod. Has that little twist because it's so like a screwdriver. Because you put the bullet there and you mm mm mm. Or so I don't look like I'm doing anything awkward. It's mm 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 mm. This is so factual. <laughs> Kidding, guys. Um, but yes, and of course you have like um now black gunpowder. That's what it uses. It doesn't use clear gunpowder. Is a little more or black gunpowder. My bad. It's a little more filthy. Hmm. Um. But the thing is, it comes with a stick. Yes. A little tubing stick. You put it in. I'm not trying to say anything sexual at all, or, or I mean necessary if it sounds sexual. <laughs> mm. <laughs> From the chamber. <laughs> Give me a moment. Jacob is processing. <laughs> um. But yeah, and but yes, uh, it just comes with a it's a stick of kind of. You're coming up to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying I'm going to deny you. Um, but yeah, it's... Nah! Nah, nah this is aside from all that. I'll explain that later. Within the comments, you can even ask questions. I'm not mine at all. Um, now, the history of Optima. Optima is not an American brand. It's more of a foreign brand. I'm probably like, oh my gosh, I swear, if you say it's Chinese, I'm going to kill you. No, it's not Chinese. It's not. <laughs> I promise... It's actually a Danish company. Optima is a Danish gun brand. It's a gun manufacturer. There we go. Yep, the Great Danes. Wait, that's a dog. Wait, Jacob. Or Danes from Denmark? I don't know. You bought it for yourself. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, it's it's Danish, and um, it's a very they're very good. They haven't been around for a while. They've been around for probably a good 10 years. But yeah, they make mainly muzzle loaders or bolt action rifles. The Optima muzzle loader, X750. 370. I get myself confused because there's a 570, then the 750, and the 370. I got you the 370. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's um, they're all mainly the same except for the barrel. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's. Very good. I must say, if you guys are in the muzzle loading, I would definitely get this or any of the three. But Optima is definitely a trustworthy 
manufacturing for muzzle loaders. They do very well with it. As much as, yeah, I clean a lot, it's painted the darkish. I know, don't look at painting the darkish. Darkish, darkish, darkish. But <laughs> it's, trust me, it, when you get that shot off, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, just the sound of the ring. Mmm. Orgasm. <laughs> so, just please, I, guys are any into this kind of stuff, I want you guys to try to save up your money. Because the daily price of these are like, um, 280 to 300. Depends on how, like, you know, how, like, if it's a recent manufacturer or if it's an older one. Because things age. Or, they look the same, but when they age, you know, get less expensive. And the gun world. Except for, like, you know, good old guns. Did I just... Yeah, I just did. I just completely reworded myself, like, three times. <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, if I really miss anything out that you guys really want to know, um, please leave a comment below and ask. I will certainly get to reply when I can, of course. Um, but definitely, you guys, I love you all. And I salute to all of you. Um, but before I go, I just want to once again, once again, not two pictures, not much. Um, once again, I repeat myself, thank you for the support. The viewings, the positive comments, the enthusiasm. I love all of it. Um, so thank you very much. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, hope you guys have a wonderful night or day, wherever you live. Shit, don't judge. Um, and gosh, keep trucking it. Be a truck. Except those ice trucks, you know, when you try to drop to the ice, you go, you're <laughs> 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 dead. <laughs> but yeah, don't be an ice truck. Please, don't be an ice truck. <laughs> Unless you want to go, like, hardcore, like, about swagness, YOLO. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I'm too full of myself. Um, but yeah, please, um, thank you for all for the support, really. Um, I'm going to try to do another... Like gun guide or uh, maybe a fanfic reading later on if I'm still up and not tired. I'm not sure. I mean, leave a comment below and say, "Keep doing uploads, bitch." I would definitely try. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. I keep saying I'm still. I'm trying to fix that habit. I really am. I'm sorry if it's annoying to any of you. Deeply sorry. So all of you. As I say again and again and again, have a wonderful night, wonderful day, wonderful evening, wonderful afternoon. Yes, everything wonderful. Stay fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> That's not even a word. Fabulous is a word, but not fabulous. Fabulous. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but, yes. Goodbye to all. I salute. To all of you, 